And the consequence if they don't do that is what? So I'm not going to speak to that today. But what's the, what, what's the consequence? There are implications under U.S. law, under policy, that I'm not going to speak to here, largely because we hope that Israel makes the changes that the secretary outlined in the letter. Um, we have seen Israel make changes before, and when they make changes, humanitarian assistance can increase. <laughs> As you know, we still have that one shipment of the 2,000 pound bombs uh, currently still paused. Clearly, they're not very serious. Biden does not have the backbone to stand up to the Israelis or to Netanyahu. And he has proven this again and again over the last year. He has continued to support the Israelis with, with uh, endless amount of weapons. He also now is sending those, what I see very much as double messages, really, double talk that is uh, being issued simply to please everyone in the region and to, re to reassure them that the U.S. is concerned. This happened in just 30 days before the election. I mean, to what extent was the election a factor? It is not a factor at all. The, the bottom line is we felt it was appropriate if we are making clear to, to the government of Israel that there are these changes that need to be implemented, that we give them an appropriate period of time to implement, it, to implement them. The state today uh, is partly a reflection of the U.S. law but also it, uh, it can be interpreted as giving Netanyahu enough time uh, to finish the job while the elections are undergoing. It's all linked to the U.S. elections. I don't think it is genuinely driven by the humanitarian circumstances in Gaza or what is now unfolding in Lebanon. Well, the U.S. have already had a lot of opportunity to convince people that they are serious about stopping atrocities, but they have allowed those opportunities to pass one after the other. The first and most important step is to stop the supply of weapons to the Israelis. The second thing they can do very effectively is to take those decisions to the Security Council and to support the Security Council with its mandate to stop the Israelis from committing those uh, uh, murders. And he made me across the year making it clear.